What's up everybody? Mike Hero Shields Outdoors. It is a balmy negative 12 degrees right now. I am here with the St. Cloud crew. We got Justin and Jake. How's it going? Hey. We're gonna do a little catch and cook for you guys today. Let's get it started. A lot of the crappie around this lake are going around basin to basin, either on the edges or in the depths. So we're gonna just go and try and find schools of them. So basically what we're doing is we're running the live scope. You wanna come over here? So we're gonna use this to chase down the fish. And what we're gonna do here is scan around and we're looking at 120 feet out and it's 28 feet deep. And we're looking for schools that are suspended like that right there. They're moving around quite a bit. That's 35 feet out. And what we're gonna do today is just chase them around, see if we can pluck a few off and have ourselves a meal. The baby. Oh boy. <laughs> Just a little guy. Does that one feel any better? What the heck? <laughs> We're gonna be having a little chicken nuggets for our catch and cook. <laughs> Who picked this lake? Gotta go where the fish are sometimes, right? It took us a while to find them, but once we found them, we're willing to eat. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's another nice one though. Another solid 12-incher on the pinhead. We're starting to cooperate. Oh yeah. Woody's got one. Those pinhead minnows just work. <laughs> Another solid one. Look at that. Dropped down and he just came racing up. We found this school of probably 50 fish and they're bigger and aggressive. So, see if we can get back on top of them and catch a few more. He absolutely crushed that one. They're just stacked under Woody right now. Look at him. Another solid fish. We got on a couple good schools. Uh, we got enough fish for our catch and cook. So now we're gonna flay these bad boys up and we're gonna go cook them in the fish house. You get Nolan eating a sandwich before the catch and cook. Nolan, what are you doing? This is a catch and cook. I'm hungry. Jeez, rookie fisherman over here. We can't take this guy anywhere. Unbelievable. It's lunchtime, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Oh, 
I tell you what, these Buddy Flex heaters are pretty nice. You know, it kicks out quite a bit of heat. I think it goes up to 1100 BTUs on this one. And then what we have is we've got the Buddy Flex cooker with it. It bolts right onto the Buddy cooker. Basically what you do to get this thing going is in the back here, we've got the knob. There's an accessory port. So you've got the pilot light still going on this main Buddy cooker. And then basically you turn it to the accessory knob and you get it fired up. You'll go to turn it on in the cooker on this side over here. And then you're running, you got the pilot light going here and then the, the cooker's going. So you're getting your heat from the, from the accessory and then we're gonna fry them off of that too. Pretty efficient setup. Bring in my lake, fillet your fish. I do accept tips. Yeah, I was gonna say, we just don't have to pay an hourly fee. <laughs> My work here is done. So Mike just got done flying up the fish. We just got them all clean. What we're gonna do is we got the oil heating up on a cast iron pan. We're going to dip them in some milk. And then we have shore lunch, Cajun and original. Get a little spice in there. And it's some meat church, lemon and pepper seasoning. So we're gonna shake it up in the LEM shaker and get them frying. We're gonna pat the fillets dry, then we're gonna dip them in some milk, and then put them on that shaker. Round two. <clears throat> Justin. Yeah. Is your mouth watering yet? Oh yeah, that <laughs> smells good. <laughs> what about yours, Mike? Oh, it's been watering since we started cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan's, his has been watering since we started fishing. <laughs> All right, before we get a little too far in this process, we're gonna do a taste test. So we'll see how Justin did with it. I think this piece looks delicious right here. All right, first of all, presentation. We've got a nice flake in there. It's a lot better than the very first one you put in. So I got the heat figured out a little bit. You can see that nice golden brown flakes for you. Nice, Steam's still oh, coming good little yeah. steam for you. All right, here we go. That's glorious. I love it. You did good. Mike didn't like the first piece, but I like a little crunch to mine, so I got a little extra done. Those are good. Nolan, the true One food bite. man. One <laughs> bite. See how it goes. Well done. That's delicious. An hour ago, that thing saw a pinhead minnow. I was like, oh, gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> all fried up. Now we're going to throw the side on. It's Mike's venison with some potatoes. Thanks Mike. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Glad I could be a service. Oh yeah, this is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. 
I'm glad I brought the side to those, those <laughs> yeah. potatoes and the venison kind of go along with it pretty great, well. Great addition to fried fish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was a little bit worried at the start of the day. Showing up negative 12, we had to hop to a bunch of different spots to find fish, but, you know, thankfully we found a few that cooperated. Yeah, it was a grind at first, a lot of small ones, but ended up finding a couple good schools and we're able to put some on the fry pan for this afternoon. Mm -hmm. You know, if it, if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. All right. You know, so, yeah. All right, well, we're going to enjoy our uh, fruits of our labors here. So, you know, if you want to do a catch and cook like this, you need any gear, be it like the buddy heater or the heater attachment to, to do this grilling or any rods and reels, make sure to head to your local Shields store or visit us online at shields.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.